Right, right here. All right. So, <laughs> hi. I'm Ripley. Um, I'm from the UK, and today I'm going to be talking about um, like school and particularly my experience of school in the UK. Um, and that's going right from when I was a little kid up until university, <laughs> and now when I'm just a big kid. Um, so, at the end, there's going to be a chance for people to ask questions. Um, so, I think there's a comment section for that. Um, until then, <laughs> I can see all of the comments here, but um, yeah, I'll just be um, presenting everything. So, if you have any questions, please wait until the end with the Q&A section. Um, and I think we should be ready to begin around now. Right? Okay. <laughs> One minute. Okay, so. Minute. 大家有问题最好是用英文去提问啊，千万不要用那个中文提问，他们是是听不懂的。哎。啊。Is it working now? Yeah, everything is working. Hi, say hi to to every student. Hi, every student. Hi, hi. <laughs> To speak slow, slowly and loudly. <coughs> okay. Can you hear? 各位能各位能听见吗？哎，不要发英文，你不要指望我给你翻译，别别这么想，不要这么想啊。Never think I will translate for you. Okay. Talk about your trip to England. To England. She's from England. <coughs> By the way, oh, I live here. Make this a little smaller. Make it smaller. Yeah, okay. so I can see. Here. You see? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very easy. Okay. Okay. Stop now. Okay. Wish you good luck. 不要指望我给你翻译啊，不好意思。Okay, you can you can find the questions here. What's your name? Okay, tell me your name. Okay. Um. Write it down. It's about writing down. It's it's bad. Um. So my name is on the screen already. Yeah. Where it says by Ripley. You got a line there. Okay. Do you have a Chinese name for that? Yeah, but I don't know how to write it. Yeah. Okay. So here's the name. Okay. Replay. Yeah. Replay. So, um, yeah, I think we've got that out of the way. Um, my name is Ripley, and I'm from the UK. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about sort of school life, and particularly about my school life. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to be trying to read the comments. <laughs> People asking for my WeChat number, and my Chinese name is okay. I'm gonna try and write it with this, but I haven't used the pen before. Um, so let's see how this works. So my Chinese name is Lily, but I can't write the characters because it's very difficult. <laughs> um, so if anybody knows how to write my Chinese name, then feel free to put it in the comment. It's supposed to mean like. Um, beautiful grass or something, I think.、Um, but it said as <laughs> Lily. Yeah, I think some people got it. Yes, yeah, some people got it over there.、Um, so that's my Chinese name, and my English name is Ripley.、Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm from the UK. So I'm going to be trying to explain to everybody、um, a little bit about the UK school system. Um, and just you know, that's quite boring. Just talking about educating you about the UK system because obviously you have Baidu and you can find out by yourself. So I'm going to try and make it a little more interesting by telling you、um, the experiences of a British schoolgirl, and that's that's myself.、Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be telling you about、um, all of my. Bad behavior, good behavior, <laughs> and everything that I did、um, in my in my youth, in my school days.、Um, so I hope that you enjoy this. <laughs> Let me see. Do you think it's to graduate in the UK? Well, actually, we're going to have a Q and A session at the end of this. So I'm going to try and address people's questions about things like graduation. Um, and just about their own experiences in the UK and anything else you want to know at the end of the lecture.、Um, so <laughs> listen up, guys. <laughs> okay. So、um, in the UK, we have what's called public schools.
um, which is kind of a confusing name because public schools are not for the public. They're what you call in America private schools. We also have state schools, so schools that you pay for and schools that are run by the government. I had the experience of trying both. Um, I went for a while to an all-girls school. Um, it's actually this one here. So this was my old school um, for a little bit anyway, and it was a school for only girls. Um, so that type of school is a public school. It's a boarding school, and they have a very long history. Um, a lot of people, especially in China, tend to think that if it's a private school, um, if you have to pay for it, if it has a long history, then this is going to be thank you. Okay. <laughs> then this is going to be My a good school, um, and that it's going to obviously give you high grades and get you into a great university. Well. From my experience, I'm sorry to disappoint everyone, but I found actually the state schools, so the free schools in the UK, were a lot better um, for me. The, the state schools are better <laughs> for me, yeah, because I went to an all-girls school that's very expensive. Uh, it's very may hard I suggest to you write, write this down? Like, <laughs> for example, like uh, oh, I can just, which, which I can, one I can, is better? I can write it down just by wait, where are we? Um, just by going like this. <laughs> um, because everyone who I knew who went to this school, um, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, all of my friends who went to this school, um, you know, they lived there. It was a boarding school, so they weren't allowed outside. And actually, so, they so went what, a little what, bit what, crazy. What, what, so, so tell me, <laughs> what, what is a boarding school? A boarding, a boarding school. Is a school, school that okay, you this is a in. very good word. They may learn this word. A boarding school. Boarding school. 各位小朋友，我们学个单词了。Boarding school， 这什么意思？什么叫 boarding school？ You you forgot something. Um, where is it? Right here. So after boarding school. <laughs> no. Because no one wants to live in that school. Um, but anyways. Uh, in my opinion, a boarding school means you can live there. Stay yeah, there. You yeah. can sleep there. Not can you? You sort of have to. You have to stay stay here. Well, you cannot me, go for, home without me, without I permission. Live, I live very nearby, but obviously, if you don't live nearby, it's very far away. My school was basically in the middle of nowhere. Ah. So, this time, I'll tell you. Let me explain to them. They may get confused. Boarding school. This word, I tell you, where I failed. It was in the exam. I failed. I failed. I failed. What is it? What is it? What is it? 来自这个词 board， 我们的单词课也讲过的。board 是它本身是板子的意思，板子啊，板子。a board means a a, a wood a wooden plate， things like that. The original meaning, right? No, no. Well, the original meaning. Board means it comes from the phrase boarding house. Yeah. Um. But the original meaning is from the wood. Because originally, board. yeah, boarding houses would have been made why, out of. Why do they have <laughs> board? Of, boarding school. Why do they have boarding school? 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 That, that, that's my my explanation. <laughs> that's a bed. A, a, a board, and that, that that's where you can sleep, right? Possibly, that's where you can I'm sleep. not sure if they were. Ah, uh, with, with <laughs> your like a torture device. With, with your girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> you no boyfriend or girlfriend. No, no. <laughs> no at my school, okay, it okay. was only girls allowed. Ah, uh, okay. Like, and lots of schools have only boys. Um, ah, so they have. In the United States, there are some schools only for men's or only for women's schools. But in that way, there are. Be、This is why people go a little bit crazy. Go gay, they may go gay. <laughs> Are you <laughs> saying gay? They're gay, though, right? I went to a girls' school. Only boys. <laughs> Only boys. <laughs> no, what they tend to do is become instead. People who go to boys' school tend to become not gay, but instead they become pervy. <laughs> pervy means weird. Yeah. So like, um, because I went to a girls' school. Um, when only was, girls. Yeah, my that's my heaven. My that's my heaven. <laughs> my 他去的是一个纯女生学校，那简直就是、um, 啊。<laughs> that's my sometimes, heaven. And sometimes, sometimes we would meet boys who went to the school for only boys. So you know, we're the only girls. They're the only so, boys. So here's a question. Meet, so here's a question. Like, uh, here's the question. <laughs> when <laughs> when did you when、die. when did you meet meet your first boyfriend? Well, I. 哎，我问他知道，最早什么时候看到他的找了第一个男朋友的？ Well,、When? I didn't. I didn't like going to the school that's only girls. So I, I, you know, I went away from the 
um, boarding school and went to a state school. Ah, he left the state school because he didn't like girls' school. And then the boyfriend. Um, well, I didn't. That was full of English boys, and I don't like English boys. <laughs> 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 I met my first ever boyfriend at a, a concert. <laughs> a concert. A music concert. Yeah. When? 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 Right, right. Teacher, you're not allowed to ask these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a respectable young lady. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just, just joking, just joking. <laughs> Okay. So, 所以大家能就学到一个词，就是 boarding school。其实，在英国这个中学教育是很严谨，就是男生和女生是分开的。大多数情况之下，男女是不在一块上学的，分开的。Girl school 或者 boy school， 这个在中国根本就没有，对吧？中国其实也有大学有的。这个北京就有一个中华女子学校。In Beijing, there's a women's university、mm-hmm. with ninety nine percent girl students and one percent boy students.、Uh-huh. They have re- they actually have boyfriend boy 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 students there. Yeah, but for university、uh. you're allowed outside. Right, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> That's the difference. Actually, in in Beijing, there's that women's university, but it's still there's boys. Actually, ninety nine percent, 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 If anybody goes to that school, please invite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> they are asking why do they do it? Do do you have to divide the boys and girls? Um, actually, I don't know. It's a really old concept in state schools.、Um, it's an、so、old it's concept. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's old fashioned, old fashioned. It's an old fashioned, yeah. 传统，这个英国人特别讲传统的，特别老调的，或者叫做 old. Modern schools don't do this. But、old, old fashioned. Schools, what is that? The other word? Old fashioned and old. What? what? <laughs> the old. I was just saying old fashioned. Old and, fashioned.、Uh, and they're like traditional. Traditional, mean, right? Yeah. Old fashion and old tradition. Yeah. In England, is very respectful of traditional place. You should know this, right? It's a very old tradition, very old. Why don't you like having an English boyfriend? She likes Chinese boyfriend. Okay, don't you like having an English boyfriend? She likes Chinese boyfriend. Okay, okay. 他就想找个中国男朋友，拜托，不是说了吗？第一次就说了吗？是吧 ？I can do,、okay. I can put that in another podcast. There's too okay, okay. many, too many complaints. 下节课去讲，专门讲这个问题。<笑> too much to complain. Okay, okay, this is too much. Okay, so, um, yeah, like I said, I switched away from a boarding school, um, to a state school. A state school.、Um, yeah, which I liked a lot more. Um, so for me. Um, the state school was definitely an improvement, and I will talk about that more when we move on to high school. So where you start in the UK is you start at primary school.、Um, so that's you know in England you start school when you're a lot younger, and、um, so you go to primary school when you're four, four years old, and I think in in China that's still like kindergarten. So, um, that's why we're starting with our chapter one, childhood. And apparently, this picture is from a film, film, a film that I haven't actually watched.、Um, but the people here said it's good, so if you know this film, this is a film. Because I don't have pictures of me from when I'm very young,、um, but later you'll see lots of my pictures from me at high school, and yeah, <laughs> and、um, I didn't have uniforms like this. Okay. So, primary school is like I said, it's from age four to eleven, and you start in reception age.、Um, and primary school is really a great time. So I wanted to talk about the positives because, of course, when you start school as a little four-year-old, it's so depressing. You know, you leave your parents behind. You have to go to this big scary place. It's horrible. Everyone's crying on the first day. And then within five minutes, everybody's running around、um, playing tag, and they absolutely love it.、Um, and for me, on my very first few days at school, I encountered a very important thing, which was I made, as well as making my first friends,、um, I made my first enemies. <laughs> so that's an important part of growing up, I think. So we have your friends.、Ah, I'm not very good at this thing at all. So friends and 
enemies. And so, <laughs> for me, my, my enemies started because we used to get this, this milk, like little milk cartons, um, and everybody used to get them because they used to say, you know, it's very healthy for children to drink milk. So every day we would get given milk at lunchtime, and this one boy, just for no reason, just because he was a little prick, um, I don't think I need to translate the word prick, but it's not a very nice person. Um, he, he decided that he was going to tip his milk over my head. You know, just why? Why? Um, and, you know, me, a little four-year-old girl who'd never fallen out with anybody before, I was uh, a lovely little angel. I had, to, I had just had milk poured on my head. So I took my little thing of milk, I took the straw, and I put it up his nose and squeezed it. <laughs> and from that day on, I had my first enemy. Um, and luckily, in primary school, you don't get in trouble. Um, so I took a my... A massage. <laughs> okay. Oh, <thank> you. <laughs> my pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. A massage. <laughs> so I took my, my enemy level to a new extreme, and I actually started an, a girls' gang to fight with my enemy and his boys gang. So every day, you know, while it's supposed to be, um, you know, your lunch time is supposed to be your play time. Play time. Mine in turned in into, in school? <laughs> no, for primary school, uh, you know, when you're a little yeah, kid. Yeah. So my play time turned into a war zone mm. because you never got into trouble. So every day I would take my girls and we would find the boys and we would just fight and hit them with sticks. 各各位同学，我是认为就是第一次呢，就我们每一月会有一两次这种的交流，以后会有上麦的机会。你你能够听懂百分之四十左右，我觉得就很好了啊。Forty percent 就很棒了，已经。学点单词了，比如这个 primary school 小学，看见没有？单词学一学，好不好 ？You have your enemies in China. 呃，我我我是我是 most most strict teachers. Somebody saying they don't have enemies in China. Enemies. <laughs> What? Your enemy means somebody that you you don't like. Ah, a person ah, in your school you don't like. Ah, um, actually, it can be a person in anywhere that you don't like. <laughs> But I think if you don't have enemies, that's that's quite sad. It's 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 important to have your enemies and to learn young how to defend yourself. Um, so I quite enjoyed it. I think if you don't have enemies, then you have very strict teachers, because for me. Every day we would,、um, you know,、uh, the girls and the boys. We would <laughs> wrestle each other, and、um, every day I would go to the head teacher, who was a lovely woman. The head teacher is the head of the school, and her way of telling you off, which is why you never get into trouble, was because she would tell you, Ripley, you've been very naughty, so I don't want you doing this again. Can you please write down? What you did wrong, say that you're sorry and write it down. Then I would write it down, you know, in my lovely childhood handwriting, <coughs> and then she would put it in an envelope and put it in the bin and be like, "Okay, so that's going in the bin. That's going away. <laughs> you're sorry, so it's it's gone." And that was it, just every day. Um, so that's why I was a bit of a naughty child. <laughs> Um, the other great thing about primary school was that we never had any homework. Now I think that in China, even when you're a little kid, you get homework, right? You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But do you get homework? <laughs> yeah, I think you do, right? <laughs> yes. So.、Um, Yeah, it was it was great. We never got any homework. The only time that you would was once or twice a year. You would be told,、um, you know, for a school trip or something, or a book day.、Um, just go home and find a costume. So dress up as a Victorian person. Dress up as your favorite book character,、um, and then come into school the next day dressed up. So that was the closest thing we ever had to homework was. Um, finding costumes. <laughs> yeah, so there was absolutely no homework, which was wonderful. 
Um, so also um, for primary school, one thing which every British person I think will have a great memory of is you have a lot of school trips. And when you're really young, the school trips, they don't really mean anything. When you're older, if your school takes you somewhere, it's because they want you to learn something, right? But <laughs> when you're a little kid, it's pretty much just to stop you running around and acting crazy. So you get taken to places like the zoo, um, nowhere that's exciting, you know. I, I went to state primary school, so we weren't going abroad, we weren't going anywhere. Um, you know, you couldn't go to museums because there's a whole load of little kids, you probably break stuff, so we basically, basically just go to the zoo. Um, or, <laughs> or places like that, you know, it was quite a fun time. Um, we went to theme parks, and I think everybody um, who went to school in the UK has a good memory about school trips. You know, you just everybody would get on a coach and they'd just take you somewhere and yeah, you'd get to like maybe fire fire hours for the day. <laughs> Teacher is very good at that. He's good at archery. But um, yeah, I only got to try it when I was a little kid. Um, but it was always really fun. Um, so that was the things which I loved about primary school. Um, so the things which I didn't so much was that primary school, you know, you're there from when you're four until you went when you're 11. And it's basically just one big blur of fighting and not having homework and dressing up and... Um, you know, it's, it's things like your lessons will be write a story um, or, <laughs> or something quite simple. So it's quite a fun time. But then suddenly you get to year six, which is when you're about 10, and you're told about these things called uh, SAT, S-A-T-E-S, not the American ones, the English ones, SAT. And these decide where you're going for high school. And you're suddenly told about these exams. You know, you never have to take an exam before in primary school. And then they just suddenly appear, like out of nowhere. <laughs> and you have to do these exams. So the last year of your primary school is really terrifying. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of pressure. If, if you do badly at these tests, you're going to go to a bad high school. Um, at least that's what they want you to think because they want everyone to do very well. Um, oh, you also have a pressure, like well, we have in China? I, I don't know. If we like to think it's pressure. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not as much. Yeah, test. That's the first time you ever have a test. You have to have a better high school, right? So a better high school is yeah, based on, if you, if you based, on based on the, the, the score you got. Yes. Well, actually, like, honestly, you can't really do that badly um, because they're quite simple tests. <laughs> you know what? In, in China, if you don't get the good score, you, go, you, not, you, don't, you do not go to the bad, bad high yeah. school. You go to factories directly. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> one <laughs> we have bigger pressure. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> have, we have, we have, um, you know, like in my, my city, we had um, like maybe four high schools and three of them were good high schools um, and you just didn't want to go to the not so good one um so it wasn't actually that much pressure but when it's the first test that you've ever seen it feels like a lot of pressure yeah, <laughs> um, that's true. you know you feel like <laughs> as soon as you hear the word exam you feel like you've grown up 10 years in 10 seconds um, <laughs> so yeah so from my experience my i when i went to high school I remember in my in my class we have we had over thirty classmates, but only seven of us went to high school. What? And the twenty three of them went to went to different what? places like career school. Do you know that? No. A career <laughs> school is where you when you like do not how, learn how math, old? but how you learn you? like fifteen. Uh, fifteen. <laughs> Most of them went to the uh, career school. Yeah. In Korea oh. school, you do not learn mathematics or English. You learn how to make products, okay. how to repair. So you things, actually get sent to a factory. How to cook. 
how to cook. I thought he was joking. Right. That's true. <laughs> and then after one wow. year or two years training, you went directly to to different factories or restaurants. Oh, that's true. 是吧？在中国，我那当年我们二十、三十个人就只有七个人上上高中了。二十多人都去上、yes. 上那个职职校了，我们叫 career school in what, China. What we have career we have school. Is, do you have、um, career school in Britain? No, but we do have something、um, like when before you take your A levels before you go to college.、Mm. So we'll go on to this this part later.、Um, mm. But when you're sixteen, sixteen. So when you're sixteen, if you want to, you can choose instead to do an apprenticeship. So that's where you, yeah,、ah, that's、um, where you go to learn a specific trade. But people choose、ah, to do that. You're not forced. This is a, this is a very very difficult word. It's for people who want to. Apprenticeship. Yeah. We can we can do this later. Like, this is the apprentice. Apprentice 就是学徒。他们在英国是去去学徒的，去去行业去听学徒。我们这不一样，直接去 career school， 对吧？职业学校，对啊，是对的 career school。So that's what people do. 去蓝翔。If they don't go to college, they might want to do an apprenticeship.、Um, ah. But actually, an apprenticeship in the UK is viewed as quite a good thing、um, because it's generally for careers that earn you quite a lot of money. So、um, maybe in China it doesn't earn so much money, but say for example, or vacation school, yes, vacation? a vocation school. Oh yeah, vocational, vocational,、uh, vocational yeah. school. Yeah, that, that so that's that's where you learn your apprenticeship. So right, right,、school. vocational school. Right.、Um, mm-hmm. So those are normally for jobs. Such as、um, like builders and plumbers and electricians, who actually in the UK, if you do one of these jobs, you earn a lot of money. <laughs> and so it's not viewed as a bad thing to do an apprenticeship or go to a vocational school in the UK. And、um, some people will choose to. So it's mostly for people who just don't really want to do the academic things,、um, and they'll choose to do something like that. And it's generally viewed as quite a good thing, and you're going to get a lot of money if you pass your apprenticeship well. <laughs> so it's definitely not a bad thing, and、um, you're definitely not just shipped off to a factory. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next part, which is your high school.、Hmm. 听懂百分之四十就是成功了啊 ！Forty percent for the first time, if you can understand. Forty percent, that's the success. Forty <laughs> percent. Okay, right, that's that's、right. people's target. Forty percent. Okay, so your high school. Um, I'm just trying to work out like, if we're going to stay on this page or if we're going to go. Yes,、yeah, that's good. So, um, for high school, the um, this is when right after. So this is if you pass your SATs well and you go to a good high school, which, like I said, pretty much everybody does.、Um, so, what I have here is for both your positives and your negatives is your teachers. So for me,、um, my experience with teachers in high school, and like I said, I went to both a boarding school and also a state school. So I tried both. And the teachers that I had in these places,、um, some of them were great. Like I had an amazing science teacher.、Um, I hated science. I, you know, I'll put my hands up to that. I was really bad at science、um, until I had an incredible teacher、um, who basically he just used to let you.、Uh. Go out to class to listen to music, and he made everything you know really interesting.、Um, he just used to take me out of class all the time、um, for no apparent reason, <laughs> because we liked the same sort of music. And in the end, I learned a lot about science,、um, and it just shows that you know a good teacher can really make you passionate about a subject and interested in a subject, which beforehand <coughs> I wasn't.、Um, So that was my good experience of teachers. I also had a couple of other great teachers for subjects like philosophy, which I really loved.、Um, and then I had some not so great teachers, which are the more interesting ones.、Um, so they're the ones I'm going to go into more detail about.、Um, so I listed my top three worst teachers、um, ever, <laughs> and the first one I had. Was the teacher I will call the crazy Canadian,、um, because she was she was from Canada, and 
she was incredibly passionate about being a Canadian citizen to the point that where when one of my classmates once asked her where in America are you from she became so angry at him she gave him detention for three weeks just for asking where in America she was from because she was from Canada and she was just screaming at him and pointing at a map and calling him an idiot and everyone else was just in the back of their seats like oh my god please keep me away from this woman <laughs> um, so yeah she was definitely one of the worst ones um, I, I you know she didn't like me I didn't like her um, she would do things like you know if, if I had done my homework she would the students she didn't like, she would just lose their homework and make you do Did it you again. Did you have fight? Like physically? <laughs> no, I mean, not, not for that teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but um, luckily, I, I, you know, I was a talkative little student. And if I ever had a problem, I would, you know, go and talk to one of the teachers I did like and ask them to fix it. Um, and luckily, the head teacher of the school really liked me. So when I had the crazy Canadian, I just... Um, went and told the head teacher about her and got changed away <laughs> for doing a different teacher. Um, not yet. Just slow down, okay? I'll try to slow down. Slow down, you're right. Okay, so the second teacher that I really didn't like was one who was a PE teacher. A PE teacher? Yeah. So Physical PE. education yeah. teacher. So I think, I'm not sure if you actually do this in China. Yeah, but we have. Ah! PE teachers. <laughs> PE teachers. This is so difficult to use the pen. Okay, PE, that's supposed to say. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we had a school uniform. So I'm not sure if Chinese schools mostly have a school uniform. Yes, we have. You do? A very ugly. Yeah, 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 uh, let, me, let me write it for you. Yeah, you write the word uniform uh, because... School, school uniform. Uniform, right? So, unfortunately... <laughs> we, we, we do, we do. Mostly very ugly. Yeah, <laughs> mine, was, mine was really ugly as well. Really? So ugly, so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I am so happy to hear <laughs> that. My <laughs> <laughs> school, particularly... <laughs> um, it was this big, big black jumper. The you know, it looked like it looked like a sack. <laughs> like, 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 a a like, 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 like a sack. <laughs> and you would have to wear a polo shirt. You know. A polo shirt. Oh. And it was you know supposed to be white, but it would always get grey, and it was just yeah, ugly, yeah, ugly, ugly clothes. Ugly and dirty. Um, <laughs> and they would say everybody has to wear to wear you know these trousers or these long yeah, skirt yeah, yeah. and in summer it was so hot that I just decided one day you know okay so some some of the students you know the well behaved students they, they, <laughs> no, they would they would wear um, you know like like blouses which look nicer they would yeah. wear jackets oh. instead of the jumper mm. um, and they would wear skirts to the knee skirts which, to the knee which I thought was nicer <laughs> so I started to wear this, and it was in the, I thought it looked better as well, it did look better, it looked smarter, um, and because I had previously gone to a boarding school, I still had the boarding school uniform, um, which was, it was nicer, so I started to wear this um, to my state school, and none of the teachers minded, except for one, and that was one PE teacher, which teach PE. And <laughs> this guy was very much like that. He was a bad teacher, um, a very boring person. And so he would just get angry about little, little things. So in my very nice, neat school uniform, um, <laughs> yeah, I did have to wear the uniform every day, every day. But I wore my nice uniform and this one teacher every day he would try to send me home. So it became a thing that every day at lunchtime, I would spend my lunchtime arguing with this one PE teacher about my uniform. Even though it looked nice and neat, <sighs> just because he had nothing better to do. So, 
I really hope that none of you have had teachers that are so petty. Um, I don't know if you know this word, but let's write it down. Attempt to write it down. So petty. Um, and that just means somebody who has nothing, nothing better to do. So, <laughs> so they just, um, they just, yeah, they have nothing better to do. So they just get angry about very little things. And the last teacher that I had that I really, really, really hated, um, he was called, I, you know, this is one teacher where a name <laughs> will not will not do justice, but he was just just a crazy person. He taught math, and I was not so brilliant at math. So I was okay, okay at math. Um, I know that Chinese people, you're very very good at math, <laughs> um, but for me, I was just okay. Um, and this this teacher, he was just you know <coughs> all types of crazy. Um, if there was a noise outside, he would make the whole class run outside and, you know, you would take your rulers and your pen and he would just make you shout at the students making a noise and go, ah, we're trying to learn. <laughs> and then he'd just make us run around. He would just tell us, you have to go and do this. You have to go and shout at those students outside. Um, and some days he would be lovely. One day he told us that we were going to, you know, not do maths today. We're just going to go to the shops and get sweets, get candy. So, I, you know, everyone's very happy. Everyone loves candy. But at the same time, we know this teacher. And we know that he is, he is not um, a nice person. So everybody was quite scared when he said, we're not going to do maths. We're just going to go and get candy. Um... So we went, he bought candy for everyone, everyone ate the candy. <laughs> then he goes outside once the candy is finished. Can, and I, can, I, can I interrupt and share, sure. share a picture of, of mine? Of picture. <laughs> Very historic one. Oh, is it of your uniform? No, that, oh, that was me I want for the first uniform. test of my life. Oh, okay. This is my first test of my life. I'm going to share a picture of you. This is my first test of my life. Can we enlarge it? Ah, can you watch the camera? Okay. <laughs> that was me. Like uh six years old. Oh, I so got the cute. first, the first. Oh, <laughs> you look so Check proud. Okay. This is me. Six years old. <laughs> 这是我六岁时候的照片, 第一次, 第一次考试的时候。小学一年级大红花 <laughs> 6岁哦, six, 6 years old <laughs> Can't recognize me? Totally different No <laughs> Totally different, totally different. <laughs> okay. You look so proud Right, of course, of course The first test in my life <laughs> <laughs> well, later on, I think like we'll start the next slide. Like I've got a lot of pictures of me, but I don't look so cute. <laughs> okay, show us your picture. Oh, they come later. They're they're on the next slide. Okay. I, I don't know how to make this smaller. <laughs> Maybe you can show them the picture now, because uh, you don't have too much time. You don't really have to talk about everything you prepared. That was it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next slide. So, after your high school, you move on to college. And so, where are you? Which one is you? Let me see. In the middle? Yeah. So, me. I don't know why I'm working on my So, that was to graduate from high school? Yeah. So, that was. So, that was. So, that was. So, that was. So, this picture was taken at my high school. <laughs> Um, no, and my college, my college. Oh, your college. And um, so college is where you go right after, after high school. Um, and yeah, so that's from when you're 16 to 18. I think you don't have college in China, at least not the same thing. You have high school um, and then you just go straight to university, right? But we have college in between. This I want to say, but these are two different education systems. In China, you have to first attend college. 然后才能够去 university, right? 
Yeah. First of all, yeah. you need to go to college and then university. Yeah, you, you cannot to. you cannot go to university directly. Uh, some people, I, I very few, you know. very, very few of them, right? Very yeah. few of them. Only, only people who are very good at. 除非你特别的厉害，特别牛逼，你可以直接去大学，否则都要去那个大去这个 college。在中国不一样，中国这个 college 跟 university 的区别是，有的是专业性质的高校，比如说，比如说武汉什么什么什么纺织技术学院之类的啊，就是一个 college， 对吧？还有呢，大学呢就是 university， 中国这个不太一样，我们中国这个 college 指的是比较专业的院校，是吧？或者大专什么之类的，啊、呃，职高不是它是 vocational school 嘛，所以在英国你是要首先参加一个 college。然后才去大学的，这个你把翻译成预科比较好，我觉得。It's like a pre-university education, yeah, yeah. right? So everyone, you have to do your A levels to get into university.、Right. The only person I know who who hasn't is、uh, Isaac, who does、um, who does the recording. So when you hear us doing the recording, the two、mm-hmm. British people,、mm-hmm. he managed to avoid going to college and just went. So how many years、university. do you have to stay in college? The college is just two years. Two years. Okay, 两年预科是两年的时间。你你先得待两年在在 college， 然后才能够去 university， 对吧？这英国的这个教育机制还不太一样啊。A level 是水平啊 ，A 级啊，就是高考啊，就这个高考嘛。他们高考就考那个玩意 ，A B C 啊之类的。So when you go to college, you're doing your A levels, and you know choosing your A levels is a really really important time for most people, um, because obviously it's really really important, um. That you choose something that's going to fit with what you want to do for university. So while in China you're studying pretty much every subject until you go to university. You know you do your I think they call it Gaokao, maybe, and、um, but your college entrance exam, and you know you have to be sort of good at everything, and then you can apply for anything at university, anything that you like. At least I think so. If I'm wrong, you can correct me.、Um, so <laughs> I think I'm not wrong because no one's correcting me.、Um, but in the UK, you have to do your college for two years, and you choose three or four subjects, and they have to be related to what you want to do at university, or else you can't do that at university. So you really need to choose and you know have a good idea about what you want to do. By the time that you're sixteen, so it's quite young to choose what you're doing at university, but you have to have a good idea. For me, I was interested in two things at university. So I was interested in doing medicine, so you know, studying to become a doctor, and law, so studying to become a lawyer. And I had to choose.、Um, <laughs> What my A levels were going to be based on one of these two things. <笑>我想说的是，他的这个照片好像一群杀马特，看见没有？<笑>哎，一群乡村风。<笑> the 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 styles, your hair styles, of your of your friends, your your friends, your friends, your friends. I'm talking about your friends. Such a diversity. You yeah,、see? yeah. <笑> so if you want, I can introduce my friends there as well. <笑> But、yeah, some of these are still like some of my best friends. Stylish, <laughs> the 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 Sid Thomas. <laughs> no, this this one is stylish. Me 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 me. Stylish. <laughs> so so yeah, I had to、um, choose between medicine and law, and obviously based on the fact that you're not calling me doctor, Flippy,、um, I choose to become a lawyer. Um, and so I chose my A levels、um, to work with law. So I did things like philosophy,、um, literature, psychology. So things where you were arguing a lot and、yeah, talking a lot, which obviously is something that I enjoy.、Um, and actually, you know, the reason that I chose law、um, was because I, you know, I didn't know much about the subject,、um, but. I I liked the idea of just the degree where you can just talk and you know argue with people and <laughs> and get marks for that. Um, so that's why I chose law. And what we're going on to next is about your young adulthood. So that's your time at university. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do for university is obviously to choose your course. 
the band depends, like I said, on what you studied. So it depends on the A-levels that you chose. Um, there's also a lot of courses. So I don't know if anybody watching today has studied in the UK or is interested in studying in the UK, but there's really a course for absolutely everyone. Um, there's so many, it's impossible. Um, you know, I, like I said, I was interested in law. And if you go onto the UCAS website and type the word law, you get like 10,000 options. <laughs> and so it can be really, really hard to choose. Um, and then when you finally do decide on what course you're applying for, um, you need to write a personal statement. And they are terrifying um, because your personal statement is the most important part of your university application and really whether or not you can get into a university depends on your personal statement um, so it's really scary to write it especially because when you're first applying for a university honestly no one has any idea about these subjects you know something like law or medicine or engineering you don't take that as an A-level. Nobody has tried this before. But you need to convince them that you love these subjects um, for just no reason. And that's why the personal statement is so important. Basically, you need to be very good at bullshitting. Okay? So, we're going to go into the Q&A section soon. Um, so, yeah. This was my room, by the way, at university. Um, with my lovely shoes. I know I'm so fashionable. <laughs> so when you're moving to university, your university places are ridiculously small. Um, so it's really difficult to choose what to take, um, which is why I, I took my shoes and my clothes. <laughs> um, you also have a lot of time at university socialising. So again, this is, this is me and my friends. This is me here. That's not my real hair. Um, it's fake hair, but it was lovely, so <laughs> so wore it out. And your friends are basically going to be people like your roommates. Um, you're going to have parties, which in the next slide, I had the best university parties ever. Um, this was my roommate, Kate. She was lovely. Um, your classmates, so these are the guys, this crazy guy here, who's one of my classmates. Um, you also have a thing called Freshers Week, which is for new university students. And you have lots of bars and clubs. And this was one of the bars in Manchester, which was very nice. So this was my roommate. So that's me and Kate. My cat, I had a lovely cat. He was one of my roommates. He's got Alex. I love him. Love <laughs> Mariana, who was from Slovakia. Um, Kyle, who's from China. And yeah, that's Kate again, but that's covered up. <laughs> no, not my boyfriend, my roommate. And my cat. <laughs> and so these were our lovely parties. Um, so this was our Halloween party. So as you can see, I was really good at makeup. That's me again. Kate, Mariana, my party for my friend Jake's birthday party, Jake and Jesse. Um, this was one of our parties in Belgium, and this is Freshers Week. So this is us in lovely school uniform, but it was at university, so it was fake, fake uniform. <laughs> so that is, um, yeah, that's the uniform I would have liked to wear. But for Freshers Week, you start with a day called Schoolies, which is just celebrating the time that you went to school. So everybody goes to clubs and um, dress up in school uniform. So that's me. That's me. <laughs> Just in case you can't tell. And my awesome Halloween costume, which was totally the best. Okay. Okay. And so obviously at university you have to study. Um, so that's mostly to do with presentations, essays, exams. Um, I was good at presentations. I was good at essays. I hated exams. 
<laughs> um, but in the end, obviously, I did well enough to get my law degree. Um, so yay, and that's Alex. Lying on my book <laughs> from when I was learning Japanese. He was the best roommate. <laughs> and so yeah, a little bit about your student life as well. So you're learning things like about your cooking, you're meeting new people, making the most of your time, and saving money. Okay, so let's get on to the Q&A. And this is another one of our parties, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, for questions, I noticed that there are a few that were at the site. Um, so I want to get to one that was asked earlier when I was just starting, which was somebody was asking me about if it's easy to graduate. <laughs> if it's easy to graduate from the UK. Um, and my answer to that is obviously it depends on what subject you choose um, and if you're good at it. Um, so it can be quite easy to graduate from the UK if you choose a uh, easiest subject, my hair is so messed up, um, and obviously if you're passionate about the subject and you, you know, you study well, then yeah, it can be quite easy to graduate from the UK. Um, lots of Chinese people go to study in the UK, um, one of my roommates <laughs> was, was from China, um, and yeah, they have, they have a lot of uh, Chinese students, especially in universities like Manchester. Um, which was where I was living, and a lot of the students were Chinese. Where are you in the picture? That's me in the picture, the blonde one. It's like right in the background. <laughs> There's too many people there. And no, my boyfriend is not in the picture. <laughs> this is, this is um, people that... Um, <coughs> this was actually taken in China. Um, so my university friends in China, which is why if you notice these, these are... <laughs> so, this was, it was my university friends and me, we went on a trip to China. Um, we went to Shanghai um, when I was in my second year. Okay. Am I left-handed? No, I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed. <laughs> That's a bit of a strange question. No, my ex-boyfriend is not in there either. <laughs> So, who influenced me most? Um, which of my teachers influenced me most? That's a good question, actually. Um, and I would say, probably, um, when I was at university, the head of my law school, um, he was a teacher that was really, really influential to me. Um, also, somebody who wasn't a teacher of mine, but um, a teacher called Rata Moran. Um, I worked underneath her at a place called Rappa, so that was when I was working in law. I was working in um, asylum law at the same time that I was studying, and the person who ran, um, she was my boss, but she was also a teacher for other people, um, she was probably a very influential person because she was a very strong woman, um, and she did a lot of good stuff, so yeah, she influenced me a lot. Um, oh, <laughs> um, when do you know Jumping? Um, so, <laughs> hope you don't mind if I answer that one. <laughs> so just, just a few months, uh, about a month when I started to, to work here. Um, and again, how you can learn English. One way that you can learn English that's very good. <laughs> one way that you can learn English that's very good for everyone is, of course, listening in to me. <laughs> um, and listening to the lovely recordings that I do around once a week um, and just generally practicing English so talking with native English speakers um, getting conversations and you know talking with other other people who are learning English as well you know if you have friends that are learning English um, who are Chinese and you're Chinese and you're also learning English just, you know, try to talk to them. Try to talk to them in English. Even if it doesn't seem natural, it's important to just try and use it as much as you can. 
Okay. So my hobby. Um, I have I have a lot of hobbies actually. Um, generally, um, what I like doing most is I like I like socialising. Um, I don't know how many people watched the last um video that I did, and um, that that was a full Q and A section. Um, and I was mentioning that I also run a charity group, um, which is for homeless animals. Um, so I rescue homeless animals and put them up for adoption. Um, so I guess that's a hobby in a way. <laughs> um, so if anyone wants to adopt a, a cat or a dog, you know, it's <laughs> uh, that's something that you can do. Uh, oh, as for why I don't learn Chinese, actually I do learn, I do learn Chinese, but um, just not too brilliantly. I'm still studying. Um, so hopefully, I haven't been in China. I haven't been learning Chinese for that long. Um, but hopefully, soon I would have good Chinese. For now, I will say something a little But soon, hopefully, I will be able to speak more. Um, so I hope that answers why why I don't learn Chinese. Well, I do. I'm just not that good yet. <laughs> Can't speak a word or two. I think I just did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and also hopefully in the future, as I'm studying Chinese now, um, hopefully when I learn a bit more, I'll be able to, you know, do the translation through these videos myself. Fingers crossed. Anyway, <laughs> um, but for now, I just know quite simple Chinese, and I know lots of of swear words. And naughty, naughty things, um, but I don't think that that's appropriate. Just mainly what I learn from friends, um, and I can do shopping. Everyone learns shopping first. That's important. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Some people are saying I can study Chinese with them. I would like that. I like I like practicing Chinese. <laughs> I like meeting new Chinese. Okay, people how's the party? Hmm? Which one? <laughs> there were a lot. We had lots of parties. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> 要电话, 那个要电话同学, 我他, 我就想问一句, 你敢跟人打吗? 你打了之后, 你能说清楚吗? 我的一天哪, 要了以后, 除了在内存, Someone is asking, asking for your telephone number. I'm asking him, uh, are you sure you can talk with her on the telephone? <laughs> Yeah, it's so, I see somebody said that the Big Ben is going silent. Yeah, it is. It is in London. Every girl people, likes People shopping. are good at news. Every girl the likes shopping. Yes, yeah. me too. <laughs> every, not just every girl. I think everyone loves shopping. Everyone loves shopping. If somebody says they don't love shopping, it's, they're lying. Even boys love shopping secretly. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to Guangzhou next the week. Okay. So, 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 Make sure you have the time, right? Yes, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I have time next week. So if anybody is in Guangzhou, come see us. Come see us in Guangzhou. We're going to have a party together. Okay, party! Shanghai is the next one. Shanghai is the next place. We regularly we we go to a different city every month. Okay, that's cool. I like this. I like places. Because we have students all around China, even in America. Wow. In Africa. I have never been to Africa, but my grandparents are from Kenya, so I was Kenya. Like, yeah, my wow. my grandma was originally lived in Kenya, so I'd like to visit that. Mm. <laughs> and you I would like, like to visit what? Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> I think we talked about this last time, time right? Yeah, we had it I do, I do actually like it. Yeah, she wants to. She wants to eat tofu. Yeah, she wants to. She wants to eat tofu. Yeah, 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 she wants to eat tofu. I I don't know. <laughs> oh, or smelly minka. <laughs> yeah, I think we call it stinky, stinky toast. Stinky, stinky. Okay, can you show us the stinky? It's very cold. Stink, is it spelled S T I N K? Oh, somebody asked us if I go to Guangzhou. Guangzhou news. We will put it in the WeChat public account. It's not yet published. It should be published tomorrow or tomorrow morning. It's already published. It's already published. Let's see. I can't read all of the Chinese. Don't publish 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 Chinese. Food is always a good topic. OK， 所以呢，今天我觉得就到这里吧，差不多了啊。就是我们这个课程的目的是大家能够养成和习惯于就是。
听一个外国人娓娓道来各种西方文化的这种的这种的习惯，也是非常土生土长的英国本地本土人，是在中国是很难找的。其实，这样其实很有利于你，一个是听力，一个是呢静下心来去用英文去跟人听说话的能力。目前我们只能够单向，等我们那个软件升级，还会双向交流，肯定可以上麦的，还可以哈。In future, they can talk to directly. Oh, lots, yeah, so, lots of people saying about their home cities. That's really cool. Yeah, I would like yeah, to visit yeah. all of those places. Really, really. Yeah. yeah. People are saying about like Hangzhou and Xi'an, Shenzhen. You were there. I, I visited before all ah. of those places. They're nice. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, so Ch- think, somebody is saying welcome to Chengdu. I love the food in Chengdu. Very, very spicy. You have very good food in Chengdu. <laughs> Person from Chengdu, you have right. you have lovely mm. food. Very、ah, delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so I'll see you yeah, all right, next right, time. Right. right and right. yeah, and next time apparently it's going to be able to you said like talk directly,、mm-hmm. which、we'll、should try, be、we'll、interesting. I'll we'll make it faster. Okay. The update. The update. And please give feedback、um, on、okay. the topic. Okay. And so, next time we will talk about something about some other stuff. Yes. Yes.、Yeah. Like、next time we talk、like、about some other stuff. Like your life experience. I think lots of people are asking about <laughs> boyfriends and ex-boyfriends, so maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> like, right, a topic、right. like that. Like, do, do you have boyfriend now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no.、Okay. No. Do people want to know about like how how to to find how to find like a English girlfriend or boyfriend? 你现在就在练习啊，平时怎么练？不是在练在的吗<笑> ？Maybe something like that would be interesting. Yeah, like yeah, how yeah. to how to date as a foreigner and, and、uh, how to、right. date a foreigner. Right, right, right. How to date a foreigner. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the topic. I think that's the topic. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 好了，走了啊！我得跟呃小姑娘去聊点别的私私人话题了。<笑>拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。Okay. Okay. Clear here.